previously on The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. <laughs> and so the story continues. Okay, right now, I really want to go back to the start right now, because I'm 100% sure I missed something. I did not complete the memory, so I want, I want to complete that with the traps. It looks like we're missing one trap, so it can't be that hard. Found it! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, let's see. What the hell? That's a lot of bodies. Breathe. Sap. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this. Because then, they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then, he found more sap to drink. And there's a nice drawing in the back. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Hey! And let's go all the way back. What I love about this game is you could just run through everything and you will not get shit of the story. Or you decide to discover stuff and explore stuff and you're gonna find all the puzzle pieces and they hopefully fit together in the end. Love it. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become and then remain the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Hey, let's go to the other side. Sweet. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. And we blame it on compulsion, selfishness, madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Let's explore those houses. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great minister for Kalor. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the past with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every two in Terrier to pass. Aglon, Tetagram. Wycheon, Stimulamaton. Something something, something... Amen! Amen! Alright, what the fuck is this? Is there anything else here? Except this beautiful view! Okay. Uh, swap? Yeah, maybe we need to set the right rooms. This looks right. No, that was wrong. God damn it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, this is gonna take me some time. This is the final room to go to. Wait. What? Alright, that's a fetus. Nice. My mess is cooking. Nice, nice. Let's read that. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. 
people from the village came to the magician's house to demand he shared his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. And what is that? Play through his moonshine operation. Alright, so this is an article about this house. They found the moonshine in here, which is like a kind of booth. <laughs> that's apparently the magician's house. That's what uh, Ethan wrote about this. Oh boy, that took a lot of time. Jesus. Let's check out this house. You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. He said he found some secret room. That's fucked up. Because this is the house we just built together. But it's not the house we Travis, were actually in. Boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. They're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Ethan's family blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere. In the wind. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't like this house. Spooky. There's gonna be a jump scare in this game. I'm gonna shit my pants. Yeah, this is literally the house we just built together in the other house. Oh my gosh. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. But I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Does death bring peace or suffering? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared and the mother was beautiful again. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. And we have another article here. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and no, I got a snake's tongue, you. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? <laughs> 